This question is 2017 AMC8 problem 22. In the right triangle ABC, we have it. AC is equal to 12, BC is equal to 5, and angle C is a right angle. So that's telling us AB is 13. You can either find this using Pythagorean theorem because AB is going to be square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared using Pythagorean theorem. That should get you square root of 169 or 13. Or you may have the Pythagorean triple 5, 12, 13 memorized. So when you have 12 and, 12 and 5 and we have a right angle, the hypotenuse is going to be 13. Anyway, a semicircle is inscribed in the triangle as shown. We see the semicircle inside and we wish to find the radius of the semicircle. So we wish to find this radius r. So how can we? One thing you may say is that usually circles are easier to work with than semicircles. So one thing we may try out is to extend, not extend, but really reflect this triangle once more. So we have the same congruent triangle on this side and continue to draw this circle one more time. And then we're going to have the entire circle sitting inside. But how is this going to help us? You may remember that area of a triangle Area of a triangle is equal to the radius times semi-parameter. The in radius times semi-parameter. Let me make sure. In radius times semi-parameter. Semi-parameter. Let me prove this really fast before we go on. So let's say we have a triangle. So just any triangle. It does not have to be right. And let's say we have a circle inscribed within. So we have an in circle with some in radius r. So that's going to be the in radius r, and another in radius r, another in radius r, and realize that we can make three triangles. That's one triangle, that's the second one, and that's the third. So we have this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle. And we know the area of the entire triangle, let's mark the size a, b, c, is going to be a is going to be the sum. So the area of the entire red triangle, so red triangle, is going to be the sum of this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle. When you add up the sum of all of these three triangles, we should get the area of the entire thing. And the area of a triangle is one half times base times height, which is one half a times r plus one half b times r plus one half c times r. And we simply get one half r, factoring it out, and a plus b plus c. And we know a plus b plus c is a parameter, so we have parameter over 2 and r, and parameter over 2 is also known as semi-parameter s. So we have shown the area of a triangle is r times s, but you may have this memorized to begin with. There are a lot of triangle areas formula that's very useful to memorize. This is one of them. Anyway, how is this going to help us? And why are we trying to use it? Well, we know this parameter and we know the semi-parameter because we know this thing is going to be 5 and this is 13 because it is the same triangle. So we can find the semi-parameter. The parameter is 5 times 5. Uh, 5 plus 5 plus 13 plus 13, which is 10 plus 26 or 36. So semi-parameter is 18 in this case, and we, do, we don't know the, the radius in radius r. And when we multiply this together, we have to find the area of the entire triangle. And that's simply base times height. Base is 10, our height is 12, because we have a right angle right here. So we have 12 times 10 over 2, also known as 60. So our r is going to be 60 over 18, also known as 10 thirds. So the answer to this question is D.